we're going to talk about how to pour a proper stone model. Very important that you weigh the powder and the water and measure the water. It's also very important that the water temperature is correct. If you use hot water, it's going to change the the expansion contraction of this model and if you use cold water it's going to do the same thing also if you use cold water the stone is going to set up more slowly than if you use hot water okay we're measuring the stone and we need 100 grams of powder and we didn't make this up these are the manufacturer's directions okay and i put them in the little containers here and you get these from a drugstore. These little containers, they're medicine little bottles from a pharmacy. Just enough to measure, and each one of them is for a impression. Each stone has its own manufacturing measure. Uh, this one is 120 cc's of water. 100 grams of stone to 20 cc's of water. This is Velmix white stone. And then I use Staylight model hardener, and I use, and I draw some up in my little, we order these. 60 milligram syringes from Amazon. I make no each one of these up and I do 10 cc's of Staylight okay. to the rest of distilled water. So a total of 60? Yes. Okay. And I'm ready to mix. 10 cc's of Staylight and so it'd be 50 cc's of distilled water. Yes, so one of these to 20, 20 cc's of water. And the mixture is gonna be perfect to pour the impression. And I'm just gonna pour one at a time. I'm gonna dry them out a little bit because I don't like excess water, but I like a little bit of water. Then I put my lid on. This is a wet mix system. Put your little vacuum hose on. This vacuums out all the bubbles. And then it mixes. And you wanna make sure it's in the green is when it's vacuuming at all the, the bubbles in the material. Turn on your little machine. And you don't want it real high, do you? You want a low vibration? Lowest. The lowest one you have. You want to start on the right or left, whichever you prefer. And you start at the back and let it flow in each tooth. Just grab up a little bit more, but start where you were before. Main things, don't vibrate it any more than you have to. That's all the vibrating I do. Well, Pam's been doing this for 45 years, so she's just about to get the hang of it. And then you're ready for it to set out your bowl be sure you have something for it to go in and then have a plaster trap under your sink to catch the plaster or else you'll stop up your sink all right if you're doing a do another model then don't leave that sitting right there you'll get bubbles on it these are already poured up with 10 cc's of stay light and 50 cc's of distilled water mm -hmm. so you're ready to go in, and and yes. y'all do this on a friday morning we're not working Modern Material Dye Keen is our dye stone for our models of our 
impressions of prep teeth. This is bell mix. This is just for study models. Yeah, here's a couple of dye models. See how crisp those are? Powder. And 20 cc's of water. Perfect every time. If you just mix it by hand, you're going to have air bubbles in the mix. That's a pretty good vacuum. It just vibrates it down so you can you want to air dry it just a little. You don't want it soupy, you just want it wet. But you said that's the lowest power of vibration. And that's just air in that can, right? Air. Mm -hmm. Okay. The idea here is to move the water ahead of the material, right? So if you have any water in there, it's going to move it through because if your water mixes with the stone, it'll change the consistency of the stone. That's how to pour an ideal stone model.